Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to learn how to draw plane stud with square neck, where axis is parallel to H pin V. So see, first we will draw a table. We'll find out the value. So first we'll find out D. See, this is D. So it will be generally given in the question paper. D is twenty. Then point eight five D seventeen. Then one point five D, which is thirty, and two D plus six. So first we'll find out all these values. Then we'll start with circle. So I will draw plus. Then I will draw cross. Now we have to draw radius 10 mm, right? Diameter 20. So we can mark 10, 10 on all sides like this, and we can draw circle. Now what we will do? We will draw curve. half on the left side half on the right side so we are done with circle then we have to draw 0.85d so approximately i am taking and this will be 3/4 why because we are drawing external threading so it will be 3/4 see stud is like a bolt so the thread will be outside now i will draw front view So I will take lines from side view. We are drawing front view side view. The first I'll mark 2D plus 6. See now I'm drawing internal threading. Sorry, external threading. That is 0.85. I'm just. This is how it will look in front view. Now this part. Now remember. Now we have to draw this square neck. So this equals to this. Put the sides. It's some around twenty. So this will be also twenty. And in this, you don't have to draw any runoff angle like this. So avoid drawing those angles. Just draw directly cross. So that shows square neck. So those runoff angles we don't have to draw. Then we'll draw this end, which is 1.5d, which will be equal to 30. Then we'll draw threading, external threading. So this distance is 1.5d. The inside one is 0.85d. This is 2d plus 6. So we are done with front view and side view of this plane stud with square neck. Only thing we have to draw square in side view, which I will draw in few minutes. You see, this is M twenty. So this is axis parallel to H P and V P. If they say axis perpendicular to H P and V P, then we have to draw it vertical like this. Axis perpendicular to H P. And parallel to VP. So, with square neck, right? So we need to draw square. Remember that. That's the only difference. In the previous sum, plane stud and plane stud with square neck. So in side view, there will be a square. So now, when we are drawing axis perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP, the front view will come straight. Like this, 
and we have to draw top view so first i will start with top view i will draw a circle so outer circle will be dark and inner one will be 3 4 that you should keep in mind and you have to draw a square so this is top view of a plain stud with square nut square neck then this is front view now instead of that part we can draw curve like this see this for threading see this is what we need to draw so the end portion will be round in this case it's choice you can do anyhow so we are done with front view top view of a plain stud with square neck so i hope you people have understood this thank you